All right, so in the server here, you can see that I have uh, the project running and you can see it up here from where we left off. So I want to get into creating our contact us page and also uh, looking at routing in view js so first of all we want to create that page or that view so we're gonna call this contact dot view i think that's an appropriate name and for the standard of a view we put a capital letter start with a capital letter so we have our template or machine div and i'm gonna put an h1 that says uh this is uh, the contact us page and my battery is dying uh, well I'm not even going to look at that right now so this is all we'll need for this video I think it will give us some time uh, now in, we have to register this route, this route and I think this is probably one of the drawbacks of Nuxjs that we have to be not nox of views that we have to be registering route. So if I should just copy this, and before I do that, I want to um, just notify that this here, this aspect of this, we could do it just like this, and have it here, but we're in 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 view, or are in yeah in view overall. We don't are in our website. We don't want everything to be loaded because it will take time. Everything is loaded at once. And because view is a single page application, that is exactly what will happen. But if we check out, if we should go to the browser, and if we should do like a network check or whatever, so if we go to the network and we look, uh, if we go to JS and refresh the page here, we'll see the app here. But afterwards, on the other, I think you'll see. Uh, the about you can see the about also, but you see that it has zero megs. Look at it, or bytes, or whatever the size is zero because nothing is coming up. But on the app, you can see that it has a uh, 1.79 megabytes. No, not uh, well, actually, here, uh, 124.95 megabytes, and that's because this is loading everything. So if we should go over to the app page. Well, the about page you'll see will now load uh, information. Well, actually, no, I guess it's loading it from from the. Wait, let me see something here. Uh, no, I guess it's not loading it. Well, there's nothing on it anyway. As you can see, there's there's really nothing on it. But if it has something on it, if it had a lot more information like pictures and stuff like that then you would see that it has a, a, a big load inside or whatever but this loads when it needs to and that's what la lazy load it so when you go to the route that's when it loads but if it was for the app the app loads everything so that's why it has so much um in terms of megabytes uh so that's what we want to look do is just to do some lazy loading so let me just paste that i'm gonna remove these comments because we already have them up here I want to change this to contact uh i want to change it to contact us and this as well i'm going to change it to contact us the reason why i change it to contact us is because of uh let's say to prevent cognitive friction so when the the user goes to the page they know that uh let's say a stupid user that does not know that that contact it uh is basically mean that you're contacting us so that's just for that but the name is pretty much the same as here and down here we'll change this name as well and in here i just call this the alias i think that's what it is and we just call this contact and that's pretty much all that we need for that another thing that i want to do is just to go to the nav bar and just fix this up a little bit because i don't want it the way that it is now i'm gonna leave the the bottom, pick um and whatever there for now but I'm gonna delete all of this. So let me just go ahead and just get rid of all of these A tags. We don't want any A tags because we'll, I don't think we'll be redirecting to any uh, page that is not already on on this site. So we won't need that. I'm gonna get rid of this as well. I don't think we, we need this. 
So just get rid of that. In here, uh, let's leave the uh, navbar I item and just delete this. And I'm gonna have a div here for nav, and the reason why I'll have a div for nav is for styling. Remember that in the app app page we had some style that we wanted to use. Uh here I am going to put a router link, and this is the link that we use in in uh for internal routing for a view application. We don't want any params, so we're gonna leave that, get rid of that. This one will be our home and for, for view is a standard for us to basically just use uh the name because this will bring us exactly to that view or that component or whatever. So I'm just gonna call this name and I'm gonna copy copy this here, paste it uh uh two times paste this over a bit. And this one will be our about. Or we can put this to be about us. And uh, I can have a contact and a contact us. And this will take us to those route. Uh, route. So, and that's pretty much it. And the reason, let me go ahead. If we should go to the browser, then uh, we have an error. What's the error? What's the error here? Nav has no ending tabs. Let me see. And where is that? I wish this had some error highlighting. This doesn't have any major error highlighting. Nav, where is Nav? This is Nav. It doesn't have any. That doesn't make any sense. All right, let me just clear out some of these because this is not helping that much. So I'm even gonna get rid of the bottom thingy here. So just to see, this is not necessary as well. I'm gonna get rid of that. This ends here. Div what this div does. All right, there we go. So that's where where we had the issue. So should be good. It should be fine now. So if we should save this. And head over back to the browser. Uh, there we go. So we have the contact and the about and whatever, but we got rid of the the thing over there, the bottom thing. So that's fine. We can leave that. We don't really necessarily need. Well, actually, I am going to put that back because that's gonna give me an idea of of where of where we're going to have the the thing. So let me just put that back of where we're gonna have that um what was I saying of where we're going to have that that the brand um image or whatever so that will give me an idea of where that will will happen so I'm gonna put that back for now and let me just remember I think this was the tip that I wanted to delete and I normally just space these out like this is what I normally do just to separate them and this one so just to separate them that's what i normally do and uh should be good now if i'm correct it should be good now let's save that and let's keep our fingers crossed all right there we go the next thing that i want to do now is to just add that that little bit of styling so remember in the app, in the app that was where it was. So I had commented it out. So let me just copy all of that. And as you can see, let me just get rid of this uh, CSS line. But it doesn't really matter. It should just pick it up unless we're using like sus or, or less or whatever. Uh, here I'm just gonna uncomment this. And this will pick up, as you can see, we have an A instead of uh instead of router road uh router link or whatever and the reason why we can do that is because in the browser i'm gonna show you that it's gonna change it's gonna change over to an a tag so that's why we can do that so let me go over here and 
not giving us that pretty color that we actually want and it's not giving us the padding and I am gonna assume that that is due to the fact that this is in this class. I'm gonna take this class off. I don't want that. And it, the only thing that I want is the end that is on the end. I'm not sure if that's why, but I'm gonna assume that that is the case. What I'm going to do, however, is that we really don't need. I could put something like this here because this looks good. Let me just do that. This will give it some, some space, a bit of space. You know what I mean? So this is cool for me at least. And the active link is not, I don't know why the active link is. Let's go home. Oh, there we go. So you can see that it's now active. We go to the about or uh, contact us. So there we go. So you can see that it's actually working. Let me show you where it's actually showing. So in our inspector, uh, you'll see it will change. The reason why you can get that active link is because it's actually changing. So in the inspector, where is it? Home. Uh, no, I think it's this way. Nav. Nav bar. Uh, end of nav. There we go. So you can see it turns to an A tag. So all of them now turns to an A tag. They're anchor tag, but they're um, JavaScript thingy. So you know, now if I should hover over this one, you see that it's the about page. And it has an A tref now instead. So that's how it knows that. That's how we could pick up that the A tag or whatever on it. But these are just for internal link. As you can see, there's no refreshing or anything like that. And that's the cool thing about uh. Uh, Vue.js. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, uh, I don't know. In the next video, we'll look at, I guess we can look at fixing, putting together our about page or our contact us page. So that's pretty much it. And I'll see you in the next video.